Hello, my name is MG Leonard, and I would like to introduce myself to you with some facts. I'm probably best known for my Beetle adventures. My first book published was called Beetle Boy. That was followed by Beetle Queen, and then Battle of the Beetles. And this whole trilogy was supported by a non-fiction book called The Beetle Collector's Handbook. I even wrote a picture book about a beetle called Rex the Rhinoceros Beetle. So as you can see, I love beetles. I don't just love beetles. I also love trains. I write a series called Adventures on Trains with my co-author Sam Sedgman. Each one of those books is an adventure set on a different train in a different country with a different mystery. Those books are an awful lot of fun to write. I am a member of a group called Authors for Oceans. I live in Brighton, which is by the sea, and I care very much about the oceans. And so I have a real problem with plastic pollution, and I try to do as much as I can campaigning against the use of single-use plastics, um, and particularly the way that we throw away our rubbish. So I wrote a picture book called The Tale of a Toothbrush to highlight this problem. Another fact about me is that I've got some unusual pets. I have pet beetles uh, at the moment. I have giant African flower beetles at home in larva form, and that makes them look very ugly. They look like big fat white sausages. I also have a pet cat called Casper, and he is very lazy and very fat and absolutely adorable. I'm a mum. I've got two sons. I've got a teenage son and a young son in year three, and that is why I write books that usually have a boy as the central character. But my books are never about one child. There's always more than one hero in my stories. When I was a child, my favorite thing to do was read. I read so many adventure stories. I read all of the Famous Fives. I read all of the Secret Sevens. I read all of the Nancy Drews and the Hardy Boys. I read all of the Sherlock Holmes and all of the Agatha Christie. I read everything I could get my hands on. And that is why I write the types of books that I do. One of my favourite books when I was little was called The Secret Garden because I didn't grow up in the countryside but The Secret Garden taught me that you don't have to know anything about nature to enjoy nature and for nature to have a positive impact on you, to make you feel good. And the more time you spend in it, and the more you look at it, and the more you learn about it, the happier you are, the richer your experiences are, and that is the power of reading. When I was a kid, I used to live near a woods and I loved building camps and bases. They were my absolute favorite things to do. And in Twitch, he himself builds an incredible camp in his local nature reserve. Bird watching is my brand new hobby. It's something that I've been doing for the last couple of years now and I absolutely love it. You get to come to places like this and hear the birdsong and see the sunshine.